Hey, what's up everybody, man? I'm, I miss you guys, honestly. I know I upload every day, but still, like, just a little segment throughout the day where I'm not checking YouTube or whatever. Like, I just miss you guys so much, I'll be honest. But with all my emotions set aside, we're gonna be talking about the iPhone 7 and how it holds up in 2018. Now, in my opinion, I'm just gonna come straight out with it. The iPhone 7 is completely worthless right now. It's, it's almost a year and a half old. It only has the Apple A10 Fusion chip, only has a quad-core processor, and it only has Bluetooth 4.2. Like, what the heck? Like, now nah, I'm completely joking, guys. That's not how I feel it's like not even close that's just like how typically everyone probably thinks but let's just run right into it okay this is gonna be a quick one dude this is like i don't even know why this is even a question but the body is literally pretty familiar I mean, the major difference is the back compared to the 6s and 6 also the home button is not a physical one I have a 7 Plus as a daily driver, and I was pretty surprised by how different feeling the home buttons are, because they are completely different. One's a physical one that clicks down, this one is a digital one, and I actually prefer this one a lot. I, I don't ever feel like I'm gonna break it, because it's just a vibration in the back, but I actually like it a lot. And turning on the phone, we now have iOS 11. It's going to be supported for a while. iOS 11, in my opinion, I've been covering it extensively on this channel, and it's been getting better with every update from, for the most part, but even recently, within the last month, it's been getting really solid. Right now i would rate it like seven out of ten it's not perfect i don't think it's going to be perfect anytime soon but it's definitely getting better now performance is going to be solid on this thing it has two gigabytes of ram which a lot of you guys might think it's small or whatever but apple's framework for their software i'm telling you guys it does not need a lot of ram in order to, to have like a bunch of apps and multitasking and stuff like that and i don't expect to never have a closed app in the background or anything like that but for the most part if you're just chilling out you know you're you're not trying to test it or anything and you're closing out of apps whenever you you're no normally using it it'll be fine it also has a quad core processor clocked at 2.3 gigahertz which is very decent as well it's going to handle anything you throw at it you know and i think within ios 12 hopefully apparently apple's there's some huge developments going on with ios 12 i'll say whatever in a different video but i think ios 12 is going to be a lot better for the iphone 7 than ios 11 is right now and that kind of goes hand in hand with gaming as well it's that is also very good um this phone like i said is like a little bit over a year old it's not going to be that slow the iphone 8 i guess is a bit faster but without comparing it side by side it, it's a very good you probably won't even be able to tell the difference to be honest the cameras are great as well i'm not going to sit here and talk about the cameras for five minutes almost the same thing as the iphone 8 the biggest difference i've seen is the slow-mo video um basically it can, the iphone 8 can shoot more frames per second at different video qualities than the iphone 7 can and for me that's not a big deal that's not a deciding factor at all if you're a major photographer who's like shooting a bunch of videos on their iphone and you need the latest and greatest then obviously get the iphone 8 but for me i have a dedicated camera for this so it's not a big deal for me at all battery life is also fairly good and there's no wireless charging the iphone 8 has that and honestly that's a really cool feature but i don't think i'm willing to pay extra money for wireless charging yet i'll probably wait until the iphone 8 prices go down a little bit more before i pick it up surprisingly enough the iphone 7 has a bigger battery than the iphone 8 and the iphone 7 plus has a bigger battery than the iphone 8 plus as well so it will last quite a long time but depending on what type of iphone 7 you get whether it's used or what and if it's extensively used the battery might have deteriorated a little bit but even then i still think the iphone 7 might have better battery life than the iphone 8 now all in all i told you this was a quick one i'm surprised that this is even a question whether this phone is still worth it in 2018 now this is a controversial opinion i understand but i have to say it technology in my opinion moves fast don't get me wrong it's moving very fast you know we have self-driving cars and stuff like that but with phones i i don't think people need to upgrade every year now i want to point it like this if an iphone 8 is a perfect 10 out of 10 phone right now right it's the best whatever it's perfect i would say the iphone 7 is like a 9 out of 10 there's really not too much distinguishing between the two i'll be honest and the best part about it is the iphone 7 is so much cheaper not only are they still being sold by apple but there's a huge used market as well you can get them on swap or ebay or whatever even craigslist and they're still very powerful phones and they'll last you so many years and if you want a certified refurbished one or a brand new one i'll leave links to both of them in the description below so you can easily pick them up certified refurbished are probably the best way to go because they're cheaper and they have some sort of warranty for the most part so they're probably the best way to go i'll be honest but to answer your question the iphone 7 is completely worth it no matter which way you look at it and i personally think for some people the iphone 7 might be too powerful of a phone if you're kind of like a very normal user like you don't game that much you just basically like text people phone call people you can even probably get by with the iphone 6s but the iphone 6s will stop getting updates sooner than the iphone 7 but even then dude like 6s 7 you can't go wrong iphone 7 completely worth it and that's pretty much it i don't like dragging these videos out longer 
what they need to be. A lot of people drag these videos till 10 minutes so they can get more revenue. I really don't care about that. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about this. If you think the iPhone 7 is still worth it, whether it's not, whether it is, let me know. I'll, I'd love to hear your opinion. And leave down in the comment section what you want to see me review next. It can literally be anything. It doesn't have to be phones. I'll go ahead and buy it and just make a review of it. I might give you credit if I screenshot your comment, so just keep that in mind. Leave a like on this video as well. That helped me out so much. But more importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys, and hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, Sonora.